Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Michael Charles Chilofia Sata. Michael Charles Chulufia Sata was born in Mpika in the northern province of what was then northern Rhodesia on the 6th of July 1937. When the country was still under colonial rule, he worked as a police officer and railway man at some point. He was also involved in trade unionism. He became fully active in politics in 1963 after the independence of Northern Rhodesia, which was then changed to Zambia. He joined the ruling party, United National Independence Party, UNIP, and over time rose through the ranks. He became the governor of Lusaka in 1985. As governor, he gained a reputation for getting the work done. When his tenure as governor ended, he became a member of parliament for Kabwata constituency in Lusaka. As the then president, Kenneth Kaunda was being increasingly seen as dictatorial in his rule. Sata fell out with him though they were once close friends. Sata left the UNIP and joined the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy MMD. In 1991, power moved from the UNIP to the MMD when Frederick Chiluba defeated Kaunda in the presidential elections. Sata became the Minister for Local Government under the MMD. He also served as Labour Minister as well as Health Minister with Chaluba's government. In 2001, Sata left the MMD in frustration when President Chaluba nominated Levi Mwanawasa as the MMD's presidential candidate for the 2001 polls. He went on to form a new party called the Patriotic Front PF. The party did not fare well in the elections as it won only one seat in parliament. He again contested in the 2006 presidential elections and had the lead initially, but he soon slipped to third place as the voting continued. Suspecting foul play, his supporters began a riot in Lusaka. Finally, the Electoral Commission announced the result that saw the incumbent winning with 42% of the vote, while Sata became second with 29%. Late in 2006, Sata was arrested on the accusation of false asset declaration when applying to run as president. He was later released on bail after being questioned by the police. In court, Sata pleaded not guilty and on the 14th of December, the charges were dropped on the grounds that the declaration of assets was not made under oath. On the 25th of April 2008, Sata suffered a heart attack and was moved to Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa, where he became stable. About a month later in May, he and President Mwanawasa reconciled. Then three months later in August, Mwanawasa died in office after a stroke. When Sata attempted to attend the funeral proceedings of Mwanawasa on the 25th of August, Maureen Mwanawasa, the widow of the deceased, ordered him to leave, saying he was politicizing the event. Sata was forced to leave even though he insisted he was there to mourn Mwanawasa. He maintained he had reconciled with the deceased personally and didn't expect the treatment he got. On the 30th of August, Sata was unanimously selected by the Central Committee of the Patriotic Front as their presidential candidate for the by-election. He duly accepted the nomination, promising to wash and scrub the country clean. When the elections were held, Sata narrowly lost to Rupia Buezani Banda of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy. Sata got 38% of total votes cast to Banda's 40%. He accused the police and the Electoral Commission of working to rig the elections against him. Not one to give up, Sata ran for the office of president for a record fourth time when elections held on the 20th of September 2011. This time, he got a lot of votes from urban areas even though his traditional strongholds were the rural areas. 
he garnered 43% to Banda's 36 and was declared winner. At his inauguration as president, Sata guaranteed foreign investors that they were welcome in Zambia, Africa's biggest copper producer, but insisted that they must improve conditions for their Zambian employees. Sata served in office for another three years, but in 2014, concerns about his health began to pop up. Some voiced that he was no longer running the government as a result of his failing health. This seemed to have some credibility as Sata was no longer seen in public which was unlike him. When he opened parliament on the 19th of September, observers said he didn't look well. After that day, he wasn't seen in public for another month. He also missed a speech during the general debate of the 69th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, where he was rumored to have taken ill. The leader of the opposition, MMD, Nevis Mumba, was very outspoken, saying the government were not being sincere about the president's state of health. When Sata suddenly left the country on the 19th of October 2014 for a medical checkup, with the 50th independence celebrations only days away, many believed he was seriously ill. Sata died nine days later on the 28th of October in London. Roland Misiska, the cabinet secretary, issued a statement to that end, saying, As you are aware, the president was receiving medical attention in London. The head of state passed on October 28. President Sata's demise is deeply regretted. The nation will be kept informed on burial arrangements. Guy Scott, a white Zambian who was Sata's vice, became the acting president until by-elections were held, making him the first white leader of a democratically elected sub-Saharan African government. Sata was first married to Margaret Manda before his second marriage to Christine Kaseba, who was the first lady during his presidency. It is believed Sata had about 10 children from his two marriages. What have we missed out of this biography? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.